The machine socket connects the power cable and foot pedal to the machine. The power switch is used to turn on the machine and its light. The hand wheel is used to position the needle and thread take up lever. Rotating the hand wheel in this direction by hand also does stitches without pressing the foot pedal. To stop the sewing motion in this machine, we need to pull out the hand wheel. The top of a sewing machine is called the top cover. The spool pins hold thread spools. The thread guides guide the thread coming off the spool on its way to the needle. The bobbin winding spindle spins the bobbin to wind the thread. The bobbin winding stopper stops the bobbin from spinning when it is full of thread. The bobbin winding pressure guide regulates the thread winding around the bobbin. The thread tension dial increases or decreases the thread tension passing through its thread tension discs. The thread tension discs create tension in the thread. They are visible in this machine. The check spring holder regulates the spool thread while the machine is working. The thread take up lever lifts the spool thread. These thread guides guide the thread on its way to the needle. The machine needle is used to create stitches on the fabric. The needle clamp screw is used to insert or remove the needle. The presser foot pushes the fabric down over the needle plate and feed dogs. This machine's foot presser connects directly to the pole and can be removed using this screw. The presser foot lifter moves the presser foot up and down. The needle plate is located below the needle and has guides on it. The feed dogs push the fabric towards the back of the machine. The sewing light improves visibility and on this machine it's above the needle plate. The machine table holds fabric on its surface. The extension table is located here. When removed, it gives us a smaller table section revealing the free arm. To reach the bottom thread section in machines like this one, we remove the extension table and then open the hook race cover revealing the bobbin case, bobbin, and hook race. Here we can see the bobbin case which holds the bobbin. The bobbin case horn locks in the hook race recess. The bobbin case latch releases the bobbin case from the hook race. The bobbin holds the lower thread feeding it into the machine. The bobbin case has delicate parts. We make sure not to drop it. Bobbin cases have a latch, horn, eyelet, spring, and screw. The hook race holds the bobbin case and bobbin. 
The hook raised recess holds the bobbin case horn. The thread cutter is used to cut thread. We can use it instead of scissors. The reverse stitch lever is used to prevent unraveling of stitches. This sewing machine's dial changes the stitch length as well as stitch styles. The foot control is a pressure sensitive pedal used to activate the sewing machine. The harder we press on the pedal, the faster the machine works.